This has to be the craziest thing I have ever discovered in the soft plastic section of a tackle shop. Holy cow. It says a four and a half inch geek. Look at that. Have you ever seen a soft plastic? That is the mix between a beaver and a lizard. That is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass. Welcome to Retro Bassin. I am standing on a rather busy road in Malakoff, Texas, in front of Malakoff Bait and Tackle. As you guys know, I'm on the road a pretty good bit with my day job, and I cannot drive too far without typing the word tackle into my Google Maps. I just happen to be heading from Marshall, Texas, back home to Dripping Springs. I typed in the magic word, and look what came up. Any place that has a sign so simple as to say, tackle shop, you know is gonna have some old school gold. I stepped inside to talk to Carol, who has been the owner of this place for about 24 years, and she was kind enough to let me do a little filming for all my bass and bugs. I could have literally spent three hours in this place. I mean, there are crazy, crazy hard baits, Frank baits, some wild, wild stuff that I picked up that I will probably show you guys at another time. But to me, the real crown jewel of this place was hidden underneath a tablecloth. There was a little four by six table they had, and Carol said that underneath were a bunch of old, discontinued, soft plastic baits. I took one look under the curtain, and I knew that you guys had to take a look at it. We're gonna take a quick tour of a small corner of this really cool shop. If you guys are ever out in Malakoff, Texas, definitely stop by and say hi to Carol. I will drop all of her information down below. So here we have a pretty unassuming uh, table with some tackle on top and a little curtain on the bottom. But check out what's underneath. We've got boxes and boxes of old discontinued soft plastics. I took a quick look through here. There's some stuff from Powerbait, some stuff from some brands that I don't even know about. But we'll take a quick look and I'll show you guys all of the baits they've got stored in this little hidey hole. So the first box feels like it's about 50 pounds of old school soft plastic. Right out of the gates, I see an old Uncle Josh Jumbo Frog trailer. What is this? The old Phantom Tackle Mad Dog. I've never even heard of that bait, but that looks really cool. It looks like a water dog of some sort. Uncle Ed's Tackle, another brand I haven't heard of. Some old worms. Phantom Tackle Grubs. I think that's like a five inch swirl tail grub. <laughs> These mad dogs are really cool. Almost reminiscent of the Rebel Redneck. It's got this sort of gills on it. Um, of course, all one color, but those are awesome. Oh, that's a good color of the Mad Dog. Oh, nice. Uh, June Bug with the chartreuse tail. Okay, this must be the lizard um, bin. There's an old school Riverside Bigfoot lizard. This was, I think, the first soft plastic lizard that I ever fished. I used to love this thing for spring bass. I, the one I fished mostly was a uh, pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. That one looks pretty similar. In a nice sealed old school package. 
Something else from Riverside. This is called the Slingshot. I have no idea what that is, but I do see Jimmy Houston and is that Mark Davis? Yep, Mark Davis sponsoring that bait. Almost looks like a sluggo rigged like a wacky worm. Huh, no idea. Okay, some more Riverside Bigfoots. Nice classic pumpkin colored Bigfoot. That is awesome. Something from Lunker City, okay. Ooh, this is discontinued, the Sluggo SS. This was, I've never fished this bait, but it's a super thin Sluggo. This is meant for, I think, more finesse applications, I guess on a light wire hook, but it's a seven inch Sluggo in a canary. I almost wonder if you'd fish that like a, a floating worm or something. And something else from Phantom Tackle, the Salamander. That's more of a sort of, um, I guess, natural um, body shape for a, a lizard. Doesn't have any sort of curly arms. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna do my best not to destroy the really nicely organized box they have here, but I would say all in all, what they seem to have most of are this thing, which is called the Mad Dog, and this one, which is the Salamander. Both really cool old school baits that I've never heard of before, which is kind of a little bit of rarity for me. Six more boxes to go. <laughs> okay, so here is another box. This thing looks like it's packed with old school worms from that same Phantom Tackle Company. Let me see if I can figure out where this thing was based out of. Okay, Phantom Tackle Manufacturing in Dallas, Texas. Okay, so this is an old school Texas brand of soft plastic. So this is the Phantom Tackle Swirl Tail Worms. Ooh, that is a good looking old school, um, almost like the Mr. Twister Phenom Worm. That's really cool. And there's another Swirl Tail Worm with the pumpkin with that chartreuse tail. I love that old school color pattern. There's one, an old swirl tail. It's a pumpkin with a little pink or red tail. Awesome. Ooh, a pumpkin with blue tail. I think that one might have to come with me. That totally would be a fish catcher. And this looks like some sort of black chartreuse core six inch worm as well. So in addition to that, there's also these, which is the Hog Buster Lures Swirl Tail Worms. Okay, so I wonder if there was some sort of, you know, maybe the company changed names, got bought, but it looks like the exact same worm that was available from Phantom Tackle with the Hog Buster uh, logo and name on it. So interesting. and an old school packing slip of all the baits <laughs> that are inside. Oh, and by the way, I haven't really been reading the prices, so these guys are $2.19 for the squirrel tail worm. Let me see what these lizards are going for. So the old Mad Dog was $3.19. Pretty much like Guggen prices, you know? or the exact opposite. <laughs> Five left. Okay, so this is a smaller box. Looks like there's two different kind of baits that are in here. First thing I see more from Phantom Tackle. This is called the Twig. It looks a whole lot like an old school French fry, doesn't it? And probably rigged up pretty similarly. And I think that thing is four inches and it is $2.99. And then we've got this. Ooh, the four inch rattling baby magnum crawl. Oh, wow. So this is like the old school rattling crawl. It's got the different um, pouches in the claws so you can insert some rattles. 
Are there any in there? Yep, there are. That's really cool for $2.99. But sorry, Bass and Buds, at least one of these is gonna come home with me. <laughs> Another rattling crawl in, looks like old school black and chartreuse. I don't even know what color that is. That just looks funky. It's like New Orleans. And there's the six inch rattling crawl. Awesome. Oh wow, there's another big six inch. Look at that guy. And that one is 339. It just keeps going and going. And by the way, I, I'm trying not to make like a two hour video today. This entire shop, if you guys are anywhere near here, is totally worth checking out. We're just sticking here with the soft plastics, but like this little four by four corner, this entire place is packed. I am too out of shape for this. Okay, so this is an entire box. I'm not even gonna try to pick this thing up, but it is packed with something that I think Bateman TV would freak out over. Holy cow, look at this. This is called the Ringed Rascal. It is like an old um, ringworm with that long curly tail. I don't know, I, I saw on um, Bateman, he talks about this is one of his favorite baits. Probably not this brand, um, but definitely this style of bait. And $3.19 for looks like a pack of, I don't know if that's 15 or 20, I can't tell. Ooh, ringed rascal in a uh, tomato color. Oh wow, check that thing out. So that is um, some sort of almost like Potomac Blue with an orange tail. Wow. And that's a seven inch worm for $3.19. So there's another seven inch ring rascal and it looks like a natural color. So here's one. So I'm guessing what Phantom Tackle did is they took a lot of the popular designs of the day and kind of made their own version. This is pretty similar to the Sensation, which is called the Salty Sensation, but it's that worm with two appendages that kind of come off it. That is a super awesome bait for early spring. Ho, 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 look at this. Um, that is an old school ringed rascal in a plum color. Um, I think I know who I'm sending this thing to. <laughs> awesome. And that almost looks like a, like a water moccasin color, doesn't it? So how many packages of ringed rascals do they have in here? Um, just a quick guess, probably a hundred of just varying colors. All right, I've got to move on, otherwise I'm never gonna get out of here. Okay, so here looks like another 50 pound box of soft plastics. What do we have here? The Phantom Tackle Geek. This has to be the craziest thing I have ever discovered in the soft plastic section of a tackle shop. Holy cow. It says a four and a half inch geek. Look at that. Have you ever seen a soft plastic? That is the mix between a beaver and a lizard. That is the wildest thing I've ever seen. And look at the back of that. I guess that's how you're supposed to fish this thing. Um, yeah, I've never heard of that. I see a couple of them and I'm gonna have to grab these. Holy cow. 
I can't really see the tail of this, but it looks like the rest of this entire box, all 100 packs plus. Read that, guys. Gator tail worm. Obviously, that is not the original Ditto gator tail worm, but you gotta wonder if that is a close representation of it. So, it is hard to tell, but to me, to the best I can tell in the package, that looks a whole heck of a lot <laughs> like a gator tail worm. That is wild. You know, these things go for like a dollar a worm sometimes on eBay, sometimes even more. And this whole pack is available to you. It looks like this is 10 or 15 of them in here for $2.99. <laughs> Just a whole box of gator tails hanging out, waiting to, waiting to be bought. So what do we have here? <laughs> Fisherman's Choice 100 pack of a rib worm, which looks like an old school ring worm. <laughs> Who wants 100 of these? Oh wow. Uh, a giant looks like another 100 pack of some sort of big old school worm. Hundred pack of grubs. I don't think there's enough fish in Texas to bite all these baits. Holy cow. Um, another hundred pack of giant old school worms. That looks like an old eight or nine incher. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, an old school box of Lunker City baits. Looks like these are the old uh, Lunker City 5-inch Heligis. This is a bait I have not fished too much, to be honest with you, but definitely a really cool old-school bait. Look at those guys. And those are two seventy-nine. And looks like to me, in here, they've got a bunch of different colors. Mostly that natural pattern of the Heligis. Um, and some really clean old-school packaging, though, huh? Awesome. Yeah, I don't know how you'd fish that, but I imagine that would probably be a pretty money bait on like a Ned Rig or something like that. Obviously these were invented long before the Ned Rigs were popular, but that's kind of my initial gut with this bait. Uh, another mystery box. So, oh, we're getting into some Berkeley stuff. I heard there was some Berkeleys down here, and we might be just scratching the surface of those guys. So there's the old school version of the power bait. It's got the sealed Ziploc bag in a red power shed. Awesome. Hoo hoo hoo. Berkeley power sandworm. Who remembers that bait? Okay, so another hogbuster um, sort of imitation bait. It looks like it says crawl worms, um, which until very recently used to be really hard to find. Um, Stanley just reintroduced the Hales crawl worm. Um, however, I don't think you can get a pack of Hales crawl worm for a dollar seventy-nine. <laughs> That's awesome. So here's a box of what looks like old school jigs. What is this called? First Out Magnum Rattler. I've never heard of that. I mean, that's, I feel like I'm saying that a lot today. So this is based in Clinton, Missouri, and it's the Magnum Rattler. Really nice carded um, package of jigs. It's got a good rattle too, doesn't it? So I see some Magnum Rattlers here. Here's some an old living rubber skirt that rattle as well. So there are a bunch of carded packs of these Magnum Rattlers in here, which are really cool. And most of these that I see say $2.19, 
but you're probably gonna wanna buy the whole card. That looks like a really cool display piece. Um, how many packs of jigs do I see? I would say probably an honest 20 of these carded packs of jigs in this box. Ah, oh. just love that sound. Okay, so last box for me is one that I saw that I actually was saving. I cracked it and I saw a very familiar thing, which is the old Powerbait logo. This is probably the most epic box of vintage Powerbaits you'll ever see. Look at that. Okay, so this thing is packed <laughs> with like 40 pounds of vintage Powerbait. So let's take a quick gander at some of the stuff that's in here. Holy cow. These are not only hard baits to find, but hard baits to find in good condition. I don't know why, but these packages did not deal well with the elements in the years. Um, except this box, these are pristine. So what do we have here? So this is a 20 pack of rust colored power baits. Oh, look at that. The old classic seven inch worm. I even think the old baits smelled better, to be honest with you. Um, I think that says $4.99, I believe. So um, a little bit more for the old power baits. So there's, look at that. That's a big eight inch power bait worm. Oh, ho, ho. the seven inch power slug. The first time I got my butt kicked fishing was an old farm pond and we brought this kid with us who was his hot shot and he threw nothing but this bait and it was, it was brutal. <laughs> but that's a good looking old school bait and almost like an old motor oil color. The seven inch power jerk shad in camo. Okay, so what do we have here? This looks like, I think that's a, either an eight or a nine inch power bait worm. I can't tell which. And it looks like it's that weird rust color, which I've never seen before. That could probably catch a big old Texas bass, huh? And this thing is $3.99 for that guy. Um, there's a bunch of those in a couple different colors and I might be grabbing that. Okay. And there's another of that big old eight inch or nine inch worm. And so if I had to give my best guess at this box, I would say there's probably a hundred unopened packs of Berkeley power bait. The vast majority are that eight or nine inch worm, that classic power bait curly tail worm in probably 10 different colors. But all in all, man, baits that you will not find anywhere. Well, thanks for tuning in Bass and Buds. I know that we looked at just a small area of this awesome old school tackle shop. If you're ever anywhere near Malakoff, Texas, definitely stop in and say hi to Carol. There is a ton of old school designs from Phantom Tackle that, ah, uh, I know that there are some Bass and Buds jonesing over. So hit Carol up. I will drop her email and phone number down below. Until next time, Bass and Buds, shop local and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass and Buds.